Okay, let's get started. Our first technique today is a straight wrist grab with Mr. Bob's help. What I mean by straight wrist grab is he is reaching out and grabbing a hold and securing my wrist. Notice there is no crisscrossing involved. If it were the other hand, this is considered a cross wrist grab. So today we're going to start off with a straight wrist grab. First thing that's very important, he is reaching out and grabbing me with the left hand. I'm going to step back with my left foot. What that's going to do is take my head away from his striking arm. This is his holding arm, that is his striking arm. I'm going to turn my palm up, reach underneath. If I can get a close up here, I'll show you. My last three fingers are going to secure tightly onto his thumb, and that's going to peel me free from this wrist lock. You see that? Let's get it again. As soon as he grabs, I step back with the same foot. He grabbed with the left, I step back with the left. I curl this up, three fingers on his thumb, peel out from here. Next move, I'm going to reach in and go for the bicep. I just want to hold on secure because I don't want him to spin on me. Okay, now let's switch sides so you can get a better half, better look at the second half of the technique. I'm going to step back with the left, curl this up, three fingers in, release the hand, go for the bicep. At this point, I'm going to pull my partner down at a diagonal to the floor, straight down, elbow on the floor. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure onto his wrist. He will tap when he feels the pain. Let's look at it again, full speed. He grabs. Step back, damn, bicep, and control it right from there. Very good. Okay, this technique is defense against straight wrist grab. Mr. Bob's help. His left hand is reaching out, securing onto my right wrist. I want to step back with my left. That's the rule of thumb. They grab you with the left, you step back with the left. They grab with the right, you step back with the right. At this point, I'm going to curl my arm up. If I can get a close up here, I'm going to reach under with my free hand. Take the three small fingers and peel off the thumb. I know that these three fingers are stronger than his one thumb. So watch that again. I curl this up. Three fingers peel off. Now I have a wrist lock on my partner. At this point, I'll reach out and grab his bicep. I'm doing this to keep my partner from spinning. I do not want him to spin. I want to be able to control him. Now let's switch sides so you can see the second half of the technique. Same grab. Left hand on my right wrist. I'm stepping back with the left, curling this up. Three fingers under, peel off the thumb, grab the bicep. At this point, I'm going to pull my partner down a diagonal, controlling him the whole way down. The elbow is on the floor. I'm going to apply gradual pressure, pushing down on the wrist. He's going to tap when he feels that pain. Now let's look at it full speed. Here's the grab. You curl up, take down, apply pressure right from there. This is soft style defense. I have not hurt my partner yet. Okay, this defense is a technique from here. Let's do that again, I'm sorry. Cut that one. I'm getting excited, Bob. I want to hit you soon, man. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to show you a hard style defense for that straight wrist grab. He's reaching out with the left. Remember rule of thumb. He grabs with the left, you step back with the left. Curl this up. Get in there, release the grip. Now from here, instead of just reaching out and controlling the bicep, we're going to take the knife edge of the hand. This is called the knife edge because it's curved like a butter knife. We're going to take that knife edge and strike in. We're going to separate that bicep from the humerus. At this point, we're going to drag our partner down. And instead of applying, let's get my partner to turn here a little bit. Instead of applying gradual pressure, before the elbow hits the mat, we're going to slam it down. This is going to break the bones in the wrist and damage the ligaments and the tendons. Let's look at it again. Okay, at this point, when I step back, I do not want to strike yet. If I strike, he's going to let go of the wrist grab. Now he has two hands at which he can attack me. At this point, when he grabs, he only has one. He cannot attack me with this hand. I'm going to step back with the left, curl this up, free the right hand. Now I'm not going to pull back and chamber this. As soon as this hand comes free, chopping into the bicep. Drag the partner down, slam this onto the back, and this is going to break everything. This technique is soft style defense against cross wrist grab. Mr. Bob's help. Reaching out and grabbing across. Now remember with the wrist locks, our main priority here, he's grabbing with the right, we step back with the right. He grabs with the left, we step back with the left. So in this case, he's grabbing with the right, I step back with the right. I'm quickly going to take my hand and snake it over top and re-grab him. Now before he has a chance to count, I'm going to place the free hand onto the elbow, pushing down on the elbow, pulling up on the wrist. I'm going to take my partner down to the mat, and hold him in control position here. Okay, let's look at that again. This is soft style defense. He's not in any pain. He grabs. We step back. We re-grab. Pressure on the elbow. Pushing down. Make sure he's down flat. Prone position onto the stomach. Okay, this is hard style defense against that cross wrist grab. 
Mr. Bob's grabbing with the right. I'm stepping back with the right. Opening the right hand, quickly going to re-grab my partner. Now instead of just applying pressure on the elbow, I'm going to make a tight fist with the left hand and snap and break the elbow. At that point, no sooner does that break, I'm going to glance off and punch to the face. At this point, I'm coming back, I'm going to strike the elbow again. It was already broken, remember that? I'm striking it a second time. That's like throwing salt into the wound. And let's switch up for the second half of the technique. Here's the cross grab. We step back with the right, re-grab, break, punch, strike the already broken arm. Drag the partner down. At this point, we're going to drop a left knee onto his kidney, a right knee onto the side of his head. Notice the arms trapped in between the legs. If we want to go one step further, we put both hands on top of the wrist and snap and break this. This next touch, I did that. See, you, you jinxed me. You jinxed me. You make me stutter. Let's do that again. Okay, our next tight neck. Why am I doing that? Stuttering Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, man. Okay, let's do it again. Third time's a charm. Ready? Okay, our next technique is a combination straight wrist grab and cross wrist grab. Let me show you what I mean. Mr. Bob's help. He's reaching out with both hands and securing onto the same wrist. What I'm going to do, now remember our technique for the straight wrist grab where we curled it up and peeled off the thumb. And then our technique, I said it again, didn't I? Did I say technique? You know what? See I'm you later. Go out of your okay. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> technique. Hey, what was, uh, hold on, what was uh, Teeter's word? Okay, our next technique. Man! Okay, our next technique is a combination straight wrist grab and cross wrist grab. Mr. Bob's help. Notice both of his hands are securing onto my one wrist. Now, remember the one here? Straight wrist grab, we curl up, three fingers on the thumb and peel out. And then for the cross, we snake over and re-grab. What we're going to do is a combination of both of those. Okay, watch here. I'm going to step back with the left, curl this up. I'm going to get in there and peel off this thumb. Now, all I have to do is deal with this cross grab. I'm going to snake that. At this point, I'm going to feed the left over the right. We have a nice crucifix lock. Let's turn Mr. Bob around so you can see that. Notice he's crossed at the elbows. Just a little bit of pressure will take my partner down. All right from there. Good. Let's look at that again. Two hands on the same wrist. Curl up, peel off the thumb, snake over top, and lock on. Just a little pressure. I'm pushing with the top, pulling with the bottom, and this will topple him over. Okay, our next technique is a combination straight wrist grab and cross wrist grab. Both of his hands occupied on my one wrist. Now I want to show you something here. This one does not matter whether the left hand is lower or switch them up, or the right hand's lower. Makes no difference whatsoever. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to curl up, reach underneath. If I can get a close up of this, we're peeling off the thumb. Once that is free, I will open the other hand, re-grab his wrist. Continue that motion circular until we have a nice crucifix lock. Left hand's over the right. Okay, let's look at that again. I curl this up, reach underneath, peel off that thumb, snake over, re-grab, continue this lock. It's very important to cross your attacker at the elbow and not at the forearms. There's no control here. There's a lot of control here. Okay, our next technique is a crucifix. You got a crucifix in my head. Why'd you do that? Let's do this. Again. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, our next technique is a hard style defense against a double hand wrist lock. Now watch here. You see this? I'm sorry, I said wrist lock, should have said wrist grab. My bad. I think it's the most editing you have to do on me is tonight. Normally I'm in the zone. Okay, our next technique is a hard style defense against a double hand wrist grab. Notice both of the attacker's hand grabbing onto the same wrist. I'm going to step back with the left, curl this up, reach underneath and peel off that thumb, open the other hand, snake and re-grab, apply my crucifix lock. At this point, right before the break, 
I'm going to let the elbow slip, and the elbow is going to actually finish the break. This is going to damage the elbow capsule. Now, if we can look at this, I'm using Mr. Bob's left arm, his left forearm, as a fulcrum to break his right forearm. So at this point, I'm going to let the elbow slip. That will continue the motion instead of the push. That will go through, and then the elbow will strike the face. This could damage the jaw, this could strike the ear, could hit the temple. Now let's switch up so I can show you full speed what we're looking at. I step back, re-grab, crucifix, slip the elbow. Right from there. Okay, our next technique is double hand. We're going to have to call it a night soon. I can't believe I'm messing up this much. I wish you guys to just film me and then do like a voiceover, James Earl Jones. That'd be cool. Or shaft. Damn right. Okay. I think I'm rushing too much for the minute. Trying to fit it in a minute. Okay, our next technique is a double hand wrist grab. Except on this one. Each of his hands. I messed that up again. I didn't want to call it that. Let me get another drink. Okay, this is a defense for a double wrist grab. Mr. Bob's help. Now, unlike the other one where both of his hands were occupied on my one wrist, we are wrist for wrist right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to curl up one hand above the other, reach up with the bottom hand, and I'm going to do that peel away that we've done for the straight wrist lock. Okay, let's look at it again. We curl both hands up, one's higher than the other. We can zoom in on this. I'm peeling off the thumb. Now I have a free hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down and grab his... Maybe if I line up and let everyone run up and kick me in the crotch real hard, maybe that'll... Okay, our next defense is a double hand wrist grab. Now, unlike the other one, where both of his hands were occupied on my one wrist, here, both of his hands are grabbing each of my wrists separately. What I'm going to do is curl both hands up. I want to make sure I have one hand slightly higher than the other. I'm going to do this simultaneously. The bottom hand will reach up, and I will lock the three fingers onto his thumb and peel that hand off, just like we did for that straight wrist grab. Okay, watch it again. Curl both hands up. The bottom hand reaches up and frees the top hand. At this point, the top hand reaches down and pushes off his second hand. I'm going to pull that back through, and there's our crucifix lock once again. Okay, let's look at that one more time. Double wrist grab. We curl both hands up. Bottom hand frees the top hand. Top hand goes in, pushes off the one arm, pulls it back through. This is just like an eagle snatching a fish out of the water. I'm going to reach down and grab, pull back through, feed the bottom hand up, and there's our crucifix lock. Our next defense is that double wrist grab, except this time we're going to stick in some hard style technique. I'm going to curl both hands up, do the same as previously. The bottom hand will free the top hand. At this point, instead of reaching down and grabbing the wrist, I'm going to strike my attacker's face. This is with a palm heel strike. I do not want to punch, do not want to damage the knuckles. Okay, at this point, I'm going to palm heel strike. I know that hand is going to come up as a reaction, and when it does, I'm going to grab that wrist and feed in my crucifix lock. Let's look at that one more time. Double wrist grab. I step back, curl both hands up. Bottom hand frees the top hand. At this point, no sooner does that come free, wham! We're going to strike to the face. I'm going to reach up and grab that wrist, apply the crucifix lock. If I want to, I can let it slip and let that elbow go in and carry my phone right from there. Okay, I'm going to give you a second option for the double wrist grab. Mr. Bob's help. Both of his hands grabbing my wrist. Now, in the previous one, we curled both hands up, we peeled off the thumb, and then like an eagle grabbing the snake, we struck down onto the wrist and pulled that one through and applied a crucifix lock. What we're going to do now is we're going to do that same technique, but we're going to do the eagle grab first. I'm going to reach down and strike and grab. At this point, I'll reach up, peel off that thumb there, apply the crucifix lock. So it's the same technique, just done in reverse. We do the eagle grab first, then we snake, pull over, crucifix lock. One more time. Watching here, I'll do it slow motion. Striking down onto the wrist, 
That's going to free my left hand. Free to come up and peel and set free the right hand. Continue this circular motion. Now remember this crucifix lock, very important. You cross the arms right at the elbow. Okay, our next defense is against a double hand wrist grab. Now notice, each of his hands is attacking one of my wrists. I'm going to give you two options for this one. First, we're going to palm up. Let's do that again. Our next defense is against double wrist grab. Mr. Bob's reaching out with his left hand, applying pressure to my right wrist. His right hand is reaching out and securing one to my left wrist. I'm going to give you two options for this one. Option number one, I'm going to step back, turn both palms up. The bottom hand will reach up and peel off the thumb and free the top hand. Now the top hand, like an eagle pulling fish out of the water, I'm going to strike down onto his free wrist, pulling that through. Feed this over the top, and now I have my crucifix lock. That's option number one. Let's look at it again. I step back, both palms up. The bottom hand frees the top hand. The top hand, just like an eagle, reaches in and pulls the second hand out. Apply the crucifix. Now option number two, I'm going to do the eagle strike first. I'm going to reach down and strike, which is going to free my left hand. The left hand will now reach up and peel off the thumb of the top hand, and there's my crucifix lock. Okay, now I'm going to show you hard style defense against that double wrist grab. Both hands are being grabbed. I'm going to step back, palms up, peel off the thumb. Here comes the eagle strike, reaching down and pulling back. At this point, I have both of his arms crossed at the elbow. I'm going to take my back leg. I'm going to bring that knee up and strike underneath the both elbows, damaging each one. At this point, just like the reflex in the doctor's office, when he hits the knee, how the foot spring loads out, we're going to borrow that. As my knee strikes his elbows, that's going to cause that reflex of the foot to reach up and kick the groin. And notice the distance is perfect. We got the knee to the elbows, the kick to the groin. We'll pull this right foot back, start applying the crucifix lock. Instead of applying light pressure, we're going to apply quick pressure and we're going to snap back. Okay, now I'm going to show you hard style defense for that double wrist grab. Now this same hard style defense applies both to option number one and option number two. Let's look at it. Double wrist grab. I'm going to step back, both palms up. The bottom hand will reach up and peel off that thumb, freeing the top hand. I'll reach down and strike the wrist, freeing it, pulling it back, applying this crucifix lock. Now right there, prior to that crucifix lock, my back knee is going to come up and strike right at both elbows of my attacker. Now just like in the doctor's office, that's a reflex. When he strikes the knee, the foot spring loads out. We're going to borrow that. We're going to strike the knee to the elbows, spring load the kick to the groin. Plant back, and as, as we apply this crucifix lock, we're not going to apply gentle pressure. We're going to do this very quickly and try to damage those elbows even further. Okay, now I'm going to show you a hard style defense against that double wrist grab. Now this hard style defense works for option one and option two. I'll show you what I mean. Mr. Bob's grabbing both the wrists. I'm going to step back with my right foot, turn both palms up. The bottom hand will free the top hand. Top hand will reach in like the eagle and pull the snake out, feed the crucifix lock. Now from here, my back knee is going to come up and strike to the elbows. Just like in the doctor's office, when you strike the knee, it causes the foot to spring load out. We're going to borrow that motion. We're going to knee to the elbows, spring load the kick to the groin, plant the foot back, and we're going to flip our partner with the crucifix lock. Now in option two, it still works. We're going to reach in and snake, pull that out, pull off the thumb, start to apply the crucifix lock, bring the knee up, spring load the kick to the groin, and then we're going to flip our partner. So you see it works for both. I can peel this off, pull through, break, kick, and flip, or I can strike and then knee kick. Let's look at a soft style defense for a straight shoulder push. Attacker's pushing the shoulder. We're going to step back with the same side. Bring the left hand up and check his wrist to our shoulder. Make sure he can't get away from there. 
Right hand will circle over top, wrap underneath. I'm going to turn my attacker so you can see. Notice how the shoulder, everything's locked into place from here. I'm going to apply gentle pressure to the side of the head. And he's starting to feel the pain. He's tapping right there. Let's look at it one more time. Straight shoulder push. We step back, secure this. Circle over top. Come up underneath. Push the head away. Right from there. Okay, let's take it from this side. I step back with the same side that's being pushed. Circle over top. Come up underneath. Apply pressure to the head. Right from there. Let's look at a hard style defense for a straight shoulder push. Attacker pushes the shoulder, we're going to step back and put our thumb right into his eye. That's going to cause immediate pain. I'm going to drop my elbow down, striking on the nerve center in the arm. Continue my loop through, underneath, I'm going to grab a little bit of his flesh, reach around and claw the face, putting him in a lot of pain right here. Okay, let's look at it again. When he pushes, it's a reaction, we go right to the eye. Strike the nerve center, circle underneath, grab some skin, claw the face. This is your hard style defense for straight shoulder push. Let's look at a soft style defense for a cross shoulder push. Attacker's pushing cross shoulder, we step back with that side, we come up and secure his wrist. We're going to spin out to a wrist lock, apply gradual pressure until our partner goes down, torquing the wrist. Let's look at it again. Cross shoulder push, step back and secure the wrist, wrist lock. Apply pressure, taking the partner down. Let's look at it a little bit faster. It's a soft style defense, cross shoulder push. Right from there. Let's look at a hard style defense for cross shoulder push. As the attacker pushes, we're gonna step back with the same side and secure that wrist. You see that? That's instantaneous, one move. At the same time, I'm gonna palm heel strike my partner to the side of the head. Reach over top, I'm going to perform outside wrist lock. From here, I'm going to take his fingers and poke him in the eyes with his own fingers. Take him down. Now I'm going to break the wrist even further. Okay, let's look at it again. Attacker pushes. We secure and palm heel strike. Go for the wrist. Outside wrist lock. Poke to the eye. Take him down. Break the wrist from here. Let's look at a soft style defense for a two hand center chest push. Attacker comes in to push, we're going to step back and bring our hands up on the inside of his arms. You see that? To the inside. Turn the hands to the outside and secure his wrist. That's your first move. Let's look at it again. He comes in with the push, we step back, don't give him a chance to push. Hands on the inside. Turn these out, re-grab his wrist. One hand goes under the other, then you slip underneath. Here's our crucifix lock, you've seen that before. We're going to apply a little bit of pressure just to get our partner to go down. Let's look at it again. This is soft style defense for Two hand chest push. We step back, come up from the inside. Secure the wrist, one hand under, slip underneath, cruise the fixed lock, taking the partner down. Let's look at the soft style defense for two hand chest push. Partner pushes, we step back, bring your hands up on the inside, just like a praying position. You come up to the inside of his arms, rotate your palms out, slide down and secure the attacker's wrist. You see that from there? Let's look at it again. As he pushes, we step back and bring the hands up on the inside. Turn the palms out, secure the attacker's wrist. One hand goes under the other, you slip underneath. Right from here, there's the crucifix lock. Apply gradual pressure till the attacker goes down. Hard style defense for the two hand chest push. As the attacker pushes, we step back and we thrust our fingers into his eyes. That's going to make the hands that we're pushing respond and come back to the pain. Let's look at it a little bit slow. As he's pushing, we step back and we spear to the eyes. As his hands come back, now we grab their wrist. We don't have to look for them. They're coming back because of that eye spear. Secure the wrist, pull him down into a left snap kick. Let's look at it again. As he comes in with the push, step back and spear to the eyes. Grab the wrist, pull down into the left snap. Left hand under the right, slip underneath. There's your crucifix lock. At this point, I want you to put this on top of your shoulder. Make sure that your hips are back tightly against your partner. You're going to lift up, flipping the partner over. At this point, feel free to strike with the punch. Okay, let's look at soft style defense for a two-hand front choke. 
Now, the partner's choking her neck with both hands. Something very important. He cannot cause enough pressure to choke you with the eight fingers. Use just the eight fingers and try. Cannot do it. But if he uses pressure of the two thumbs, that's what we have to worry about, the two thumbs. So when he reaches out and chokes, I want you to take your chin, tuck your chin down tightly to your chest, and you're going to apply pressure to his thumbs with your chin. That's going to alleviate the choke just a little bit so you can do the technique. Let's look at it. When he chokes, we look down. You're going to step back with your right foot, bring the left hand up on the inside, secure your tackle's left wrist. Your right hand is going to make an S. You're going to snake over and under. Re-grab the wrist. There's the crucifix lock. Apply just enough pressure to take your partner down. Let's look at it again. Two-hand choke, soft stop. Look down, step back, secure the wrist. Weave the hand in and out, secure the other wrist. Crucifix lock, take the partner down. Hard stop defense for the front two-hand choke. Partner grabs, chin down, pressure onto the thumbs. You're gonna step back with the right, secure the wrist. Now instead of just weaving in, we're gonna slip into a hook punch right to his jaw. At that point, we will continue the lock, start the crucifix. Now, instead of applying gradual pressure, we're going to do this a fast snapping motion. We want to break the elbow and cause enough torque to get our attacker to flip. At this point, still maintain the wrist. Drop down and strike punch to the face. Let's look at it again. Hard style defense. Here's the choke. Chin down, step back, secure the wrist, hook punch to the jaw. Snake in and out, apply the flip, and the punch. Okay, let's look at soft style defense for the rear two-hand choke. The attacker comes up from behind, applies the choke. You're going to lower your center of balance, reach back, secure your partner's wrist, pull both hands outward. That's going to take off the choke. We'll slip out the back. There's our crucifix lock again. We'll apply just enough pressure to take the attacker down. Let's look at it again. Standing up straight. When he grabs, we lower ourselves, secure the wrist, pull the hands apart. Slip out the back, there's the crucifix lock, and just enough pressure to take the attacker down. Okay, now we're going to look at hard style defense for the rear two hand choke. Now for the soft style defense, remember when we reach back and grab the wrist and we pull his arms out to the side? Now we're going to pull straight forward. What this is going to do is snap your attacker's thumbs across the back of your neck. Okay, let's look at it. Here's the choke. We lower ourselves, reach back, grab the wrist. Now I'm going to do this slowly. Maybe we can get a close up. See how I'm pulling these forward, trying to snap the thumbs right across the back of the neck. Let's look at it again. Lower ourselves, pull down quickly, snapping both thumbs across the back. Rotate the palms up, come up from here. Now my elbows, I'm sorry, cut that with his elbows. Let's do that one. Okay, let's look at hard style defense for the rear two-hand choke. Now, if you remember, in the soft style defense, we reach back, we grab the attacker's wrist, and we pull the hands off to the side. For the hard style, we're going to pull straight forward. See how I'm dropping the elbows down? This is going to cause your attacker's thumbs to break across the back of your neck. Let's look at it. He comes up and he grabs. We lower ourselves, secure the wrist, drop forward. See that? I'm snapping the thumbs right across the back of my neck. Rotate the palms up. Make sure his elbows are on top of your shoulders. Start to come up. If this is done quickly, you're going to snap both elbows. Slip out the back. There's our crucifix lock. Now, instead of gradual pressure to take the partner down, we're going to snap this, push and pull, breaking the elbow, causing him to flip. Hold on to the wrist. And strike with a punch. Okay, let's look at soft style defense for rear two hand wrist grab. The attacker comes up from behind, secures both of her wrists. What I want you to do, I want you to pick one side. You're going to step out to the side. This is just a feint. You're going to try to make the attacker think you're going in that direction. So we step to the side, we raise the opposite arm. You see that? So I'm stepping out with my right foot, raising the left hand. I'm going to slip underneath of this. You see? He thought we're going this way, but we're not. We're going this way. Watch, I step out, raise the hand. Underneath, now I'm going to lower his left hand right into my right. Can you get a close-up of that? See how I'm grabbing onto the knife edge? Slip my hand inside his. Apply pressure. There you go. I'm twisting his wrist in an upward spiral. Let's look at it again. He grabs the wrist. 
We step to the side, raise the hands, slip underneath, drop down inside of here, lock onto the hand, and apply the wrist lock. Okay, now let's look at hard style defense for that rear two hand wrist grab. The attacker grabs the wrist. Now remember in soft style how we step to the side, we raise the opposite hand up. This time when we step, why not stomp on his instep? You see that? So I'm going to stomp on the instep, raise the hand, slip underneath. I'm going to take the low hand and strike right into the attacker's groin. Finish up with the same lock from the soft style defense. Release the one hand, now I'm going to break the elbow. Boom. Right from there. Let's look at it again. This is hard style defense. He grabs both wrists. Stop the instep. Slip underneath. Hammer the groin. Lock him up. Dislocate the shoulder. Soft style defense for rear hammer lock. Now a hammer lock is when your opponent grabs the wrist and he torques this chicken wing up behind the back. You see that? Now, it does not matter whether they grab the right or they grab the left. What I want you to visualize, when your arm is torqued up behind your back, imagine that finger is pointing. You see that? That finger shows you which direction you need to step. Okay, you see that? So watch, if our attacker comes up, the wrist goes behind, I need to step in that direction. I'm going to put my knee behind the attacker's knee, apply the pressure. See, I'm pushing the back of the knee and pushing my arm across his chest. He's taking right over. Let's look at it again. From the hammer lock, torques it up, step behind. I'm going to push the back of the knee and push on his chest at the same time. Hard style defense for the rear hammer lock. Packer comes in. There's the hammer lock. We're going to step to the side. Get ready to buckle the back of his knee. Now at this point, you're going to shoot the arm out straight using the inside of your elbow to bust the attacker underneath of the chin. If his tongue's hanging out, off with the tongue. As your attacker starts to fall, we're going to slip a palm heel strike right into the groin. Let's look at it again. Here's the hammer lock. We step to the side. It's behind the attacker. Now we're behind. We're going to flex the elbow up, popping the jaw, and striking palm heel strike right into the groin. We're his free fall. He was going down from when I disrupted his leverage. The palm heel strike just adds to that. Okay, let's look at a soft style defense for a back leg snap kick with Mr. Cortez help, fighting position. First thing we want to do is get off the line. We want to get to the outside of the attack. So as he's kicking, I'm stepping off to the outside. I'm behind my partner, he cannot see what's going on. If I step to the inside of his kick, you can see he can, he can really see me from here and he can change up and he can strike, he can punch and kick, a lot of stuff he can do from there. So we gotta step to the outside. Now as we step to the outside, we're gonna hook underneath of the kick. We're gonna take the left hand, set it across our partner's chest. Now watch down there, we're gonna sweep out the bottom foot, taking him to the ground, okay? Let's look at it a little faster. As he shoots the kick, we go to the outside, sweep yes. it Take our partner down. Let's look at a hard style defense for back leg snap kick. Mr. Cortez help. As he shoots the kick, we get to the outside, hook the leg, we're gonna take the left hand, we're gonna strike knife hand chop to our partner's throat. As we strike, we're sweeping our partner down, we're gonna pull back the right hand, we're gonna punch down, maybe break some ribs. At the same time, we're gonna come up, break a couple of the metatarsals in the foot. Okay, let's look at it again a little faster. He shoots the kick, we hook and chop, take him there, punch, and back left. Okay, let's look at hard style defense for back leg snap kick with Mr. Cortez help. As he shoots the kick, we step to the outside, hooking underneath the leg. Now instead of placing our hand on our partner's chest like we did in the soft style, we're going to strike with the knife edge of the hand right to his throat. Simultaneously, we're going to sweep out the bottom leg. Taking the partner down. We're going to pull back the right fist. We're going to punch down to our partner's solar plexus or his ribs. At this point, we're going to come up, break some of the metatarsals in the foot, and the back knuckle. Okay? Let's look at it a little faster. He shoots the kick to the outside. Chop it! Clean it the ribs! And hit the foot. You're supposed to. 
Now, let's look at soft style defense for back leg roundhouse kick. Mr. Corte's help. He's in fighting position. Now, what we're looking at, watch, I'm going to put my hand up where the head was. That's what we're looking at is a back leg roundhouse kick. He's trying to take off my head. What I'm going to do is as he kicks, I'm going to step to the inside. Okay? I'm checking off the leg and hooking underneath at the same time. Let's look at that again. As he kicks, step to the inside. Okay? Block and hook simultaneous. One more time. At this point, we're going to join the hands together. We're going to take the bone in the forearm, apply a little bit of pressure to our partner's calf, making him go down. Now I'm going to lean my chest onto the shin as I pull against the calf. It's causing pain right from there. Let's look at it again. Back leg high roundhouse kick to the inside. Apply the pressure. Taking the partner down and gradual pressure until he taps. Okay, now we have hard style defense for back leg high roundhouse kick. With Mr. Cortez's help, fighting position. Back leg's kicking, he's coming high, step to the inside. See how I block and scoop at the same time? Applying pressure. From here, if we can watch down below, I have an option of kicking to the knee or kicking up into my partner's groin. Once I do that, I'll apply the pressure, taking my partner down. Now in the soft style, we apply a little bit of pressure, get into the tap. But for hard style, we're going to put in a couple of strikes. From here, I'm going to let this go. The right foot's going to come from the outside, slap down onto the groin of our partner. We're going to drop down, laying our shin bone across the back of his hamstring. Now my stomach pushing on the foot, applying a lot of pressure to the hamstring. Since I'm down here this close, yeah. I don't Okay, let's see that a little faster. High roundhouse kick. Lock the leg. Kick. Take down. Stop the groin. Pressure on the leg. Punching the back of the head. Now, let's look at soft style defense for back leg low roundhouse kick. This is Cortez's help. Fighting position. Okay, what we're looking at here is the back leg's coming in with the roundhouse kick right to the ribs, right to the side of the body. As he kicks, we're going to step off overwrapping his leg from there. Now we're going to switch sides so you get a close-up of that. As he's kicking low, we step to the inside. See how we're checking off the knee? The left hand wraps over top and key locks onto our own wrist. Can you see that? Okay, one more time. As he kicks, we step to the inside and wrap him up from here. Now I'm going to take my right foot, place it behind his supporting leg, taking my partner down. Okay, let's look at that again. This is back leg low roundhouse kick. We step to the inside, key lock the leg, trip up the partner, taking him to the ground. Okay, let's look at hard style defense from back leg low roundhouse kick. Now if you remember from the soft style defense, as our partner kicks, we step to the inside, we check off the knee, and we wrap his leg up and we key lock our arms. Now we're going to key lock this, but after we take our partner down. I'm going to show you slow motion how we're doing this. As he's kicking low, we're going to step in and strike him in the throat. At the same time, we're sweeping out the leg from underneath them. So his back and the back of his head should hit the floor and his feet should still be up. Let's look at that a little bit faster. As he kicks, we shoot him. Take him down. Once he's down, now we will apply the key lock. We have an option from here. We can drop our knee down into the partner's groin, or we can release the key lock punch to the groin, and then go back to the key lock. Now I'm going to take the left leg, I'm going to circle over top, using out to end crescent kick, striking his face, flipping him over onto his stomach. I will sit down on his back, keeping the key lock, I will sit up, applying a great deal of pressure on the lower part of the spine. Watch again. Let's look at that a little faster. Back leg, low roundhouse kick. Take him down. Strike. Key lock. Kick. Over. Sit back. Apply the pressure. Okay, now let's look at the hard style defense for back leg, low roundhouse kick. Mr. Cortez's help. Fighting position. Slide in a little closer. Okay, now if you remember from the soft style, as he shoots the kick low, we step to the inside. Wrapping up the leg and key locking onto our wrist. Okay, one more time. We step to the inside, check the knee, key lock onto the wrist, securing his ankle into our armpit. Now we're going to do that for the hard stop, but we're going to take our partner down to the ground first, and then we're going to come back and establish that key lock. I'll show you what I mean. Do it real slow. As he kicks, we're going to step in and strike him into the throat. This could be palm heel, this could be knife hand, this could be a tiger's mouth, could be a number of techniques. I'll let you pick which one you like. 
At the same time, we're wrapping his leg up into the armpit. And for the third step, we're sweeping out the bottom of the leg. So we're striking the throat, capturing the ankle, sweeping the leg all simultaneously. Let's watch it from here. Ooh, taking the partner down. Now from here, we have an option. We can drop the knee into the groin, or we can punch and strike into the groin. Either one, whichever one you choose, then you come back to the key lock. Next step, we're going to kick the face, spinning our partner over onto his stomach. I will sit down on his spine, apply pressure by leaning back. You see that? When I lean back, it's a tremendous amount of pressure on his spine. Let's do it faster. Back leg, low roundhouse kick. We take him down. Strike the groin. Key lock the leg. Over you. Sit back. Apply the pressure. Okay, now we have soft style defense for a skipping side kick. Mr. Corte's help. I'll show you what we're looking at. As he skips in, front foot's chambering, and shooting a side kick into our body. This could be aimed for the throat, the solar plexus, or the stomach. One more time. Skipping in and shooting the kick out. What we want to do without the kick, I'm going to step back with my left foot and come up into a cat stance with my right foot. So one more time. I'm stepping back with the left, catting with the right. At the same time, we're going to butterfly grab his ankle. You see how we fold right over top and we hook. Watch from here. As he shoots the kick, we come back and we lock. Notice we're in the cat stance. Coming down, locking onto his ankle. One more time. As he shoots the kick, we go back and lock on. From here, I'm going to pick up my... One more time. You got to hold your balance. Okay. Okay, as he shoots the kick, we step back. Cat with the right. Butterfly lock onto his ankle. At this point, I'm going to pick up my left knee and place it behind my partner's kicking knee. Applying pressure, pushing down to the foot. You see that? Let's look at it again. He shoots the kick, we step back, trap onto the ankle, swing the knee up, pushing in the pressure on the back of his knee, forcing his leg to bend, forcing the partner to go down to his belly. At this point, he does not pose a threat to me. So let's look at that a little faster. Soft style defense for the skip side kick. As he skips in, cross him up, take him in, right from there. Let's look at the hard style defense for the skipping side kick. Mr. Corte, fighting position. Now, if you remember from the soft style, we're stepping back with the left and we're catting with the right. The reason for that, we want the right foot readily available for a front snap kick into our opponent's groin. Let's watch it. As he skips in, we cat back, we lock onto his ankle. Now, from that cat stance, you can see, I have a clear shot right up into his groin. Once I do that, I'm going to finish up with the technique, taking him to the ground. I'm going to lock on to his foot. Can you see this? My right hand is hooking onto his instep. My left hand is placed against the inside of his heel. I apply gradual pressure. He feels the pain. He's twisting his ankle, twisting his knee. We do it slowly, realistically. If done quickly, you're going to snap and break it. Okay, let's look at it again. This is your hard style defense. Skip side kick. We trap, we kick, take it out, break the ankle. Let's look at our soft style defense for a spinning back kick. Mr. Corte's help, finding position. Now what he's attempting is he's going to spin and shoot that back kick right into our abdomen. Let's see it slow. Boom! Right from there, taking us back. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to slip into his blind spot. As he winds up for the kick, you see? We're slipping to the outside. He can't see what's going on at that point. Now as he shoots the kick, I'm going to hook up underneath. I want to grab onto this arm right away because this hand is still readily available to cause me trouble. So I'm going to catch him right there at the elbow. If you catch the elbow, he cannot strike. Now we watch down there, we're going to sweep out the bottom foot, taking our partner to the ground. Okay, one more time. Very soft. This is soft style defense. He comes for the back kick, we hook the leg, grab right onto the elbow, sweep the foot, take him to the ground. Let's look at it a little faster. He shoots the kick, sweeps him down, right from there. Okay, now let's look at our hard style defense for the spinning back kick. With Mr. Corte's help. Just like in the soft style, we're going to discipline. Oh, I'm sorry, I said a discipline. What's a discipline? Try it again. Okay, now let's look at our hard style defense for the spinning back kick. With Mr. Corte's help, fighting position. Now, just like in the soft style, 
when he shoots that kick, we're going to disappear into his blind side. As he kicks, we slip off, hook the leg. Remember to lock onto the elbow of this arm. We do not want to be struck with this hand. Now, instead of just sweeping out the bottom leg, you can see we have clear entry right into our partner's groin. We're going to use our knee to do that. We're going to strike up. Once we've done that, then we will sweep him, taking the partner down. Now, instead of just kneeling down onto our partner, we're going to drop our knee down and we're going to try to dislocate his hip. At this point, my right hand still hooked underneath. I will lock onto his foot, pull this in, apply pressure from there. See how he's tapping? I'll pull this out of the way and I'm going to strike him in the groin for good measure. Let's look at it again. Step by step. He shoots the back here. We step off, hook the leg, lock onto his arm, strike up into the groin. Take him down. Drop the knee down onto the hip, apply pressure to his ankle, move the leg to the side, and strike into the groin. Let's watch it full speed. Here comes the back kick. Yeah. Bam. 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 